And we're back. Welcome to another exciting episode of Awesome Stuff Badly with me, Uncle Dr. Ernie. Whew. Uh, sorry for anyone watching the last episode. I guess there actually was one viewer. Hopefully he didn't get too confused. Uh, Hangout crashed or terminated unexpectedly. Who knew? So we'll pick it up here. I got a little more time. Let's try and squeeze out one more session. Uh, let's set the timer. Please set the timer for 30 minutes. Counting. And let's pray. Ah, <sighs> God, just thank you for today, for the chance to have a little extra time to finish things up. Thank you for my wife and children and for their grace. God, help me to do good work and to then um, let my mind be at peace in you so that I can enjoy my time with my family tonight. Pray for Daniel and the work he's doing, that he would feel your joy. Pray for Amy and Audrey. Uh, they're working on the website. Pray for David as he's fighting Windows and documentation and all the perversities of the Unix culture that I take for granted. <sighs> Thank you that this is your project, Lord. You brought us this far against unbelievable odds through multiple miracles and a lot of hard work. And I pray that I would continue to rest in the peace passes all understanding that you will accomplish your purposes in your time and your way, and that I can just entrust all the results to your hand. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. All righty, let's get started. Uh, timer, praying, screen share. Uh, awesome. Turn off the heat lamp. And Font size. No, I hadn't thought that much about it. Is there a way to do font size here? There is. Let us be blessings of more font. For, um, I don't know if it, if it just saves that in the theme or too much to think about. Um, right, um, this is, yep, so we're somewhere around level nine. Okay, level five. Oh. Yes, I dare anyone to tell me that they can teach first graders how to create an interrupt handler. And I'm sure people will argue with me about what an interrupt handler is, but that is an argument I would love to have because frankly, does anyone understand what an interrupt handler is? I think we do. Let me just show you this. I mean, this is just, this is just pure gold. I don't know where I got that phrase from, but our um, part of our programs, right? No. It is actually just, yeah. This is the thing that it, that Daniel and I were beating our heads against. But it's really, I mean, it's really beautiful, right? Um, in fact, I should just put it. Um, uh, where is my tutorial? Yeah. Yeah. Or ship week to video for details. That was one point two. Oh well. Um, yeah, because this is in order to make just this little reactive trail thing work. I had to figure out 
uh, an architecture for the processor and what you know and this um, sequence of actually in um, step right tick fetch execute prefetch um, Or new awesome stuff at the channel at the channel. Get a little plug in there and. I just want to meditate on the beauty of this, right? So this is like, okay, this is what an actual, this is pretty close to what an actual processor does on a clock tick. You tick it, then you fetch an instruction, execute the instruction, and then you prefetch the next instruction, right? How? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know someone could explain that way, but this is not just explaining how it works in theory. This is actually really doing it in practice. Um, step programs.coffee, which actually handles it on. Um, Let's make sense. Copy step. Programs that coffee. Prefetch. And then, um, where's the law? I'll be under sprites. Yes. Collision. Collision. Right. Yeah, that's just gorgeous. And you even have the right numbers for this. And then we want to do This very, very annoying UI glitch. Um, Erica's busy with school. So, and it's the same thing with two more, right? Yes. Then yes, if someone watched this video, they can cheat and get to the high scores, which is awesome. I want to create a hackable system where people who are clever feel rewarded for it rather than a really tightly programmed thing that assumes nobody knows anything. You have to hide everything. All right. Calm down, Ernie. This is not the time for that rant. 
There will be other rants at other times. Okay. Um, still gorgeous, gorgeous. Ah. Um, all right, and here it is, David's level. In common to call, I believe that's what we're doing. Yes. Be a lot more than twelve, though. Right. Run forward, interrupt. Right. Nine ticks, only two clicks. Awesome! This is both exciting and terrifying, right? Because, like, I feel like I've done something profound here, and we have done something profound here, but I don't know if anyone's going to get it, right? I mean, what percentage of students will get this? Will Rowan be able to figure it out? I'm sure he will. Um, but he's also done so many versions of this and so many variants. Can we actually get this to the point where a random grade school student of some age, you know, maybe it's seven years old, maybe it's 11 years old, where they can just pick up this thing, click on it, and work their way through this and actually do all these concepts and, um, you know, solve a really complicated maze. Um, and will they be engaged enough that when they get stuck, that they keep going? I have no idea. I really have no idea. But that's out of my control, right? The challenge is can we build this thing? The challenge is we build it. I mean, right. First of all, we just got to get it to work. That's a big enough deal as it is. Ah, oh, poor Daniel. God have mercy on him. Bless him and what he's doing. I'm just going to trust that he knows what he's doing. He's going to make it work. He'll ask for help if he doesn't. Okay.
Wait, did we run this? Yeah, we did. Um, Okay, um, yes, let's just have one mod level here, but we want this to be a yes, what we want is our Bricks two. And gate should be um, here, right? Are you going to interrupt? Yeah. No, I clicked on the kind of click there. Right, so that should be tix eleven x one. Um, and then maybe yes, yeah, what it to do for But yeah, that feels like a really solid tutorial. Um, did I save anything? See that level, and then, um, okay.
I mean, we can even have audio. No. Oh, yes, quick. Um, but, okay. Description of novel teachers. Editing. Learning mode. And then. Uh, oh, yes. When I click on the grid, that has to count. So let's go ahead and here. World dot send click, right? Um, button send click, world send click. Yeah, that's fine. So I'll click, and that is I don't know if there's even a word for using that as a technique for solving a problem. Wait. Where are my links bad? Um, okay, yes, there you go. Right, right, right. right. initial clicks. Rather than changing your program, but yes, it's not showing the program properly, which is it used to do that, right? Two minus. Yes. So there's something rotten in the state of Denmark. Kind of turtle options. Yeah, they're actually there. It's just not visible in no way that I can possibly comprehend. I'm not just imagining things. It doesn't show up here, it shows up there. All right, not my problem. That is why I have Daniel. And I'm running out of time. So. Okay, check out master push origin data tutorial. Close this. Save and go to the hour of node. Yes. And it's beautiful here, and most of it's in tutorial. Uh, um, I was a better man. Added educator. Comments to tutorial file. Uh, tweaked colors for pond metaphor. Uh, fixed nature 
or counted. Logical, logical comments. Merge pull request. For merge, tweet branch. So many branches do I got here? Not that many. Where are all those other? Huh, I guess they just show up there. I do get branch remote origin and that's fine. It's so weird. And then get pull. Sweet. And Gulp. load. Um, tutorial. Oh, awkward. That's the new upload script. So, yeah, documents. Upload script. Um, PM install mine dash save. And I just think I'm doing the right thing. I could be wrong, so I'll just go ahead and send it as a pull request and let Daniel deal with it. Okay, let's get push origin. And let's just, y'all still here? Y'all still there? Yep, still there. All right, sweet. Last but not least, um, no, I'm not going to show you all my posts. Oh, my timer's done. I need to leave. And stop presenting. Whew, no viewers, but that's fine. I think that was actually a good one to have there because um, there are people who are curious. And, you know, out of the 12 people who actually use the app, maybe one of them will want to learn more about how we did these things. Oh, wow. Those of you watching for the future have no idea how completely opaque and uncertain the future is. Um, you know, I believe in my heart that we're going to ship something gorgeous uh, that will have a viable beta tomorrow that uh, the people who play with it over the weekend will find lots of really good bugs as opposed to just really dumb bugs um, and that we will work furiously and fix them and ship Tuesday morning with something that we're really proud of um, and that like thousands and maybe tens of thousands of people will actually use. But I don't know, right? We could hit some horrible bug Daniel could get the flu. Um, you know, our test subjects 
just hate the thing and no one wants to go through the whole project. I mean, at this point, I just don't know. I've got faith. I believe God, me, God brought us this far for a reason and he won't let us down, but I don't know. Um, and we're just going to keep going in faith. And that's how you do, that's what you have to do when you're doing awesome stuff badly. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.